You've learned all the fundamentals of bowling, and now we have to put them into practice. And a lot of people just don't know how to practice. They go out there and they just try to throw strikes and strikes and strikes, and even miss spares. I've seen people throw the ball, they don't get a strike, just push the button, wipe off the spare. In this segment, we're going to show you how to practice, get the most for your money out of your practice, and how to improve your game. First place, remember we had the center of the approach right down here as the basis for our strike target, the center board. This is where we line up with the second arrow. But all of us know that you cannot play every lane right down the second arrow. Some lanes are outside, some lanes are inside. The outside lane being somewhere around the first arrow, the inside trajectory someplace around the third arrow. You must practice all three of these types of shots in your practice session. So I recommend after you warm up eight to ten shots, just like a baseball pitcher, when they pull somebody out of the bullpen, they just don't grab him out of the dugout and say, here, go in and pitch. They want him warm up for a while. Same way in bowling. Get to the league a little early or your practice session, warm up eight or ten shots before you go full throttle. Then we'll practice the outside shot. From your basic starting position in the center, move approximately ten boards to the right and line up over the first arrow and throw a harder shot straight down. All right, we've practiced a few shots down the blue line into the first arrow, which is great practice. Now we'll go to the second arrow, as indicated by the white line, and this is the, basically the shot you see most often out there on any bowling center. 75% of the time the pros play around the second arrow, and that'll fi you'll find that's the same for you. So stand in the center of the approach, line up your right shoulder over that second arrow, and just make a normal shot. And the third type of shot you should practice is the inside shot around the third arrow as indicated by the red tape leading to the arrow. This shot works most often when you bowl in a late league and the bowling center has had a lot of play on it during the day causing the lane to hook quite a bit. Move to the left side of the approach and throw your normal strike release but allow it to go out over the third arrow and let the dry lane bring it into the pocket. Watch this shot. One of the greatest practice vehicles there is, is to shoot the 10 pin first and then go for the full rack. Now I mean that, shoot the 10 pin first, then shoot for the pocket. What this does is increases your accuracy and your discipline, and it still allows you to shoot for a strike ball in the second shot. Watch what I mean. All right, I've already knocked off the 10 pin, discipline and accuracy, and I still have almost a full rack to practice for my strike shot, a two-fold purpose in one frame. Here we go, let's knock the rest of the pins down. You can make your own checklist for practice, but try the ones I've recommended eight to ten warm-up shots before you really try to turn it on. Try the outside shot around the first arrow, the medium shot around the second arrow, and the inside shot around the third arrow. And also that great practice vehicle of knocking off the ten pin for accuracy and discipline and then shooting for the strike on the second ball. And finally, when you're in league play, watch your fellow competitors and watch your own teammates. Many times they'll show you the proper strike line, especially when one of them's red hot.